What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here, 10 Like TIA is again. Well, you probably seen, like, I, I'm going to tell you this. I did a video about this woman. Her name is Lindsay Lowe, but like in 2011, where she, she killed her twin sons. I've been following the trial for the last several weeks. It's been going on for, like, weeks, man. And, like, she's been locked up for, like, two years or something like that and in, in jail because of what she did and they finally found her guilty on murders but the story this is what happened her name is she's a 26 year old named Lindsay Lowe that lives out in, in Tennessee she lives near she lives out in Tennessee and um, she was engaged to be married she hooks up with her ex-boyfriends and he tells her ex-boyfriend tells her that he wants her to be the mother of his kids so she gets pregnant by her ex-husband not, not ex-husband by her ex-boyfriend she gets pregnant by her ex-boyfriend she cheats on her like she cheated on her fiance so she gets pregnant by her ex-boyfriend she goes nine months knowing that she was pregnant she, at first she was trying to say that she thought she was had breast ca breast cancer because she was leaking milk and nobody she didn't tell nobody in her family her friends didn't know she was pregnant the day before the murder she went to a wedding and people still didn't know she was pregnant so the day of the murders her water breaks she went to the bathroom that she shares with her sister cause she lives in the suburb I know how like you go to the house like some of the like some of the houses out in the suburbs there's two rooms going to share the same bathroom two rooms to share the same bathrooms and she goes in there and she shares the bathroom with her sister and she sits on the toilets and she gives birth to her twin sons and they did take a breath of air she takes them and she drowns them in the toilet she drowns them in the toilet one by one she, she kills them she takes the babies and she puts them in the laundry bag laundry basket with the placenta still attached to one of them and she hid the hid the basket so her father actually found the basket with the babies in it when she got arrested she told the police that the second baby was still in the basket under a lot of clothes and she, and it was sad to see that this woman now I'm going to tell you this, man. I did this before about the mother. I did this video before, plus the mother that killed her baby because of Facebook. And I'm going to say this. There are, there's all kinds of, there's, there's uh, mothers out there that do kill their kids. All colors of the word, all colors. Black, white, Puerto Rican, Chinese, whatever. But I'm not trying to be racist or picky. But only time you hear... Like I'm not trying to be racist, but it's always you. You always hear about white mothers killing their kids. Not a lot of black mothers. And I'm gonna tell you this. I was watching an episode of Law and Order SVU, and it was making a. Uh, it was an old episode, and uh, it was these two girls that got killed. One was black, one was white. They was raped and killed. The black mother. The black mother was so upset because her story didn't get out there. But it was the mother. The mother's story. Her the mother. The black mother's story never got put on air. Never got put in the paper because she was black. But when it was the white girl, her story was everywhere. So that was this woman betraying this uh, as Nancy Gray on the episode, and she the black mother stopped her and told her I say I see how you work if she's white they get the spotlight 
but if she's black she gets put in the bag and I'm not trying to be mean and racist about this but it is true if she's white they're in the spotlight but if they're black they're in the back but you uh, now you gotta question this when I'm saying this how come you don't never hardly hear black parents killing their kids because they never put it on the media they never put it in the paper they never put it on TV you hear one or two stories but that's it but when it's a white person it's a whole different story not trying to make this a racist thing but you gotta relook at it like this it's always good you gotta look at it like it's not trying to be racist but when I saw, when I first heard this story about this woman doing this the first thing that came to my mind is why would you kill your kids she's 26 years old she's not too old it's like she's not far from me cause I'm 28 but and I'm sitting up here and I'm watching and, and I'm sitting there and it's like why would this girl kill her kids I said that is so wrong to kill her kids she hid her pregnancy from everybody her fiance didn't even know she was pregnant nobody she knew knew she was pregnant even when she went to the wedding the day before the murders nobody knew she was pregnant they looked at her and never thought she was pregnant because ain't trying to mean to say she's fat but she's a big girl like she's cute like the girl is pretty like okay how can you call a murder a pretty no she's a pretty woman she she got some things on her but nobody knew that she was pregnant and I sit there and I was like this woman killed her kids out of what why it makes you question it makes you question these these damn things because you see this every day around the world that mothers killing their kids and it's gotten to a point where the last several years that's all people's been seeing either kids getting killed by uh, gang bangs drugs or shooting themselves in the head or their mother killing them mainly more of the mother killing them than any others you could know, if I'm wrong I'm if I'm wrong about that about the how the kids getting killed I'm sorry okay help me out I don't know that's what I'm saying but but to sit here and kill your newborn children is so fucking wrong they did the they did, she went to trial yeah they they went to try she was in, they did a trial for like two weeks they was in trial for two weeks testimony this and this and the funny thing about it is when this first happened her dad trying to take up for her and say she is unstable she didn't she's bipolar she took her grandmother's medicine that was expired which means if it's expired means no medicine is no good and I said then I thought I said bullshit 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 a parent would always try to take up for their child even if they're in the wrong and it's like you cannot sit because one thing is like you don't sit there and say she's bipolar because she sat there and drowned her kids in the toilet if she was crazy man there would have been st there would have been documents there would have been doctor saying yeah she's the uh, she's bipolar she's paranoid schizophrenic too somewhere in the documents it would have been shown that she was bipolar but she killed her kids out of what she was afraid I, I was so pissed off about how people sat up there and tried to take up for this girl I was like it's funny how you want to take up for this girl it, 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 it leads down to it it leads down to a whole bunch of bullshit it leads down to this if it walks like a duck quacks like a duck it's a fucking duck people didn't want to confront the elephant in the room yeah she might be mental unstable but it was so wrong for her to kill her kids like that drowning her kids in a fucking toilet because she was scared that was so wrong that was so wrong I like I can understand if you're underage, like you're 18 and you're scared because you're afraid that you're going to get in trouble. When you're over the age of 21 and you're like 26, pushing 30, how the hell do you going to, like, for real? 
testimony making her look guilty more and more and they finally made they find the court the the jury finally <coughs> found her guilty four counts of murder first degree murder two counts of child abuse probably like two counts of child abuse what the fuck she killed the twins twin boys two counts of child abuse and and I sit there and I, when I first heard the story, I said, this girl's guilty. More guilty than the next person in line. And, it, and I actually talked to a couple of friends about that. I said, this girl killed her kids. And it's like, oh, this kind of fucked up. I said, yeah. And it's like, I remember that a relative told me a story about this woman that she was married and had a baby. The baby was one years old. The husband comes home from a long day's work. The wife has got done cooking something to eat, cooking some food and fixed him a plate. The husband walks into the kitchen and he starts eating on the food and asks her, how was your day? Did you have a good day? And all this and that. And he noticed that the house was quiet and he, he finally asked his wife and says, baby, he said, honey, where's the baby at? The wife tells him, you're eating him. She was sentenced to death row or life in prison. And I thought to myself, man, I was like, that, that is so wrong to feed your husband your baby. It's even wrong when a 26-year-old woman kills, drowns her baby in, in the toilet. I, what was it? I, uh, I remember I actually went on a site called, my, uh, I've been on a site called Best Gore. And I remember a story about a woman, in the, I think it was in the Philippines or something like that. The Philippines, knew it was overseas, so... It's what happened. She had a two year, she had like a three year, two or three year old son, to, and she had like a th daughter, just like one or two years old. And uh, she dropped them off at school, and then she goes out and she does errands, all the errands that she had to do. And then she goes back, picks up her kids early, and takes them home. And uh, she puts the kids in the room so they can play. She goes to her husband's toolbox to get her like one of them little handheld saws like you can actually hold it with one hand with the blow it kind of looks like one of them doctor saws with the little blades at the end something like that and she takes the takes the saw goes in there kills her kids this is kidding for real I've seen the pictures and it was fucked up man killing her kids the baby was so, it was so young and she was arrested and since the life in prison, I think. And they try to say she's bipolar. And you look at it like this, I say all these stories when mothers kill their kids, they want to use that bipolar as a weapon. Like for real, are, is people going to keep using that excuse for every murder case? When a parent murders a child, they're bipolar, they're paranoid, schizophrenic. If there's not no documents or a doctor to say they are paranoid, schizophrenic, or haven't seen, like, because people don't know, people people cannot, people don't know if they're paranoid, schizophrenic, because there's no way of telling. You cannot look at a person and say, oh, they're paranoid, schizophrenic, and they're bipolar. When you go see a doctor, and you talk to them, and they put you on medication for depression or paranoid or whatever, yeah, you could say, well, they got mental issues, but this one, they never said that she she been went to see a therapist or a psychiatrist. They never said she was on any depression meds or anything. They just said she was bipolar. That's all it was said. Nobody, there was no, nothing to back it up. So she was convicted of murdering her twin boys. And I was sitting up there, it's like, hell yeah, she deserved that shit. She deserved that shit. When you kill a child, man, it's worse. It, it, it's, it's bad business when a parent kills their own child. For what reason? makes you think why what, what was going through the head when I was doing it now the girl like I saw when they was convicting her like they actually showed it on the news when they was convicting her and the judge looked at the 
form and she's like form and what's that how to read off what you what her plate is so and he said four they said well four counts of murder two counts of child abuse two, two counts of child abuse and her family sitting there crying in the courtroom bawling crying upset and the judge sits there and he says I'm sentencing you to life with pri life in prison the girl didn't even have a tear she didn't shed a tear she didn't cry she looks back at her family says it's okay stone face like she is in this picture no feeling no feeling at all so I'm sitting there like sitting there thinking in my mind I was like okay you just got convicted of murder of your own kids and you ain't crying because you got found you was found guilty and it pisses me off because this woman was like, it, it, like, like she, like in a way, he was trying to tell me that she kind of enjoyed. Like, even, like I said, there was no expressions that she put on the face. But it, it, to me, it's like you're not crying because you're going to spend the rest of your life in prison. I was like, you can't sit there and say, "Well, she's shot." No, when you look at cases where people are crying in the room even the guilty plea there's people crying even when them two boy, college kids they raped that minor they was crying because they got found guilty and they was crying but this girl was so stone faced I couldn't believe it like for real though it's like why is what what is what am I missing and like I said, I'm not trying to be a racist on the whole mother thing, the whole mothers killing their children. But you hardly ever, you hardly ever get to see um, a black mother, a uh, Asian mother, a Hispanic mother shown on TV, like actually in the news. Because like I said before, if it's if she's white, they get the spotlight. If she's black, they get put in the bag. And that's how the media works. I'm not saying, I, I'm not saying there's there's not other minorities killing their kids. I'm just saying there's, uh, I'm just saying that that they won't show it. There's mothers across the world of every race killing their kids. I'm telling you, man. Uh, what was a? Cause I can tell you this. Missing kids, like there's kids that's been missing, black kids that's been missing. You hardly ever hear a story about them. Black kids been missing. So there was a, a network called TB1. It's a, it's like BT except it's actually for blacks. Like it's like BT, but they put black shows and all that and all this and that. And uh. And there was this woman's hosting the show. She played the mailman on Pee Wee's Herm Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse. And then she was on uh, what was it, Law and Order. But uh, she's hosted. But like I said, you never hear about a lot of black mothers killing their kids. You never hear a lot of uh, you never hear a lot of a lot of other minority parents killing. But uh, it's just sad to see that this woman killed her kids because of what? Out of what? That's still uh, that's still something. I just don't get. It's like, why would you kill your own kids, man? What? What what is for what reason? And it it just 
just something else to hear, man. It's just. It's just something I just never caught, just never thought, man. It's like, why would any parent want to kill their kids, man? What has a kid ever done to deserve to die at that age? And like I said, you can look look this story up, man, and it's right there in black and white, man. It's in court documents and all this and this, but. Like I said, the kids didn't deserve to die, but, but I'll tell you this, man. <laughs> I couldn't do that to my own kids. If I, if I had my own kids, I couldn't do that. I couldn't sit there and kill my kids because I'm depressed. If I'm depressed, I go take, do what I gotta do to get help, but to kill your own kids out of what? Like you cheated on your fiance with your ex-boyfriend. You get pregnant by your ex-boyfriend. You get pregnant by your ex-boyfriend, and like it's, it's like is are you did you like to me? Is the question is you killed your kids because you didn't want your ex your fiance to know you was pregnant? Now, come on, you live in a nice neighborhood. You got family that supports you and you kill your kids. Man, if your fiance would have left you, you would have had your your family to support you to take care of them kids. If your boy, fiance understood, like, to worked it out with you and took care of them kids, it wouldn't be, there's no reason in hell to care of them kids. But to sit up there and do it, do it right there and trying to hide like one thing why would you hide in the house why would you hide the babies in the house if you just if you just killed your children would you hide your babies in the house that's the question in plain sight what they say that what's the saying go the best way to hide something is in plain sight but she hit him in plain sight and the funny thing is she killed them and hid him for a week in the laundry basket. Her dad finds finds the baby, babies, and she gets and her parent her family calls the popos. Her family calls the popo on her. That was the, that's the fucked up part. But and that's that's like I said, man. I wasn't trying to make this into the right thing because you never hear story, never see the media tell uh, tell cases of black mothers, Hispanic mothers, or any other minority mothers. That they kill their own kids, but you'll see a bunch of white mothers out there on the news. It's not me trying to play the race card; it's the media is trying to play the race card in many different ways. So when I sit up there and say it's fucked up how white women kill their kids and they ended up on the news, because that's what the media will always play. Will always play is white case is a white case. well yeah white case is not trying to make it a racist thing, but white cases only time you hear about black people doing something wrong is they're selling drugs prostitution rape pimping hoeing so on and so you catch what I'm saying painting an ugly picture of blacks now the media is actually painting an ugly picture of whites see what I'm saying it's not it's not me talking smack about white people it's the media that likes to talk smack about minorities so so like I said you can't sit there and be like oh you're racist no it's the media that's actually putting these stories out they pick them and put them on TV TV the either the TV either on, in the papers or whatever it's them putting it out there so they actually painting a picture about minorities but it's so fucked up to see mothers kill their own fucking kids is sickening and I don't see why would any mother want to kill their own kids man and it's so fucked up man if you don't believe like, like it's just so fucked up man this is this is like some shit man that, that you probably see in the t like stories like these you thought you were seeing movies but you see it you see it on the news you see it everywhere but that's how it is 
But ladies and gentlemen, this is Afro Joe Tan, like T I S N. Find me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Find me on Tumblr. Subscribe to my channels. Holler at me. Tell me what you think about this. Do you think she deserved to be in prison for life? Life in prison. Do you think uh, <coughs> she should have been put in a mental institute or what? You tell me what. Tell me what you think. And please don't sit up here and say Afro Joe, you're a fool. This video is not about me. It's about her. I'm just putting it out there so y'all can understand. Like I said, tell me what you think in a comment or a video response. Holla.